Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're creating a cornflower sticker. Two things I never thought I'd put together directly in Procreate. So what you see on screen is exactly what we're going to be creating together. The color palette is free as always. Just tap on the link in the video description. You can download and install it. We'll be using my watercolor illustration brush set for this as well as my free mono weight brush. And I'll leave links to both of those in the video description as well. So it may look pretty simple Simple, but we're using a ton of different techniques and methods here. I'm actually going to label this one as an advanced tutorial. So if the pace is too quick at any point in time, you can always slow me down, go into drunk Tila mode by hitting the gear in the lower right corner of the YouTube player and adjusting the playback speed. You can make me go as fast or as slow as you would like. I'm going to start by creating a brand new canvas that's 1500 pixels by 1500 pixels at 300 dpi. I work in the display p3 color profile but if you're on an older iPad and don't have access to that, then the default sRGB color profile is perfectly fine. I've got my canvas all ready to go. We'll start by setting a background color and then we're going to go grab a reference image. That way we can draw our entire cornflower from a real photograph. So I'm going to tap on my layers palette, hit the background, and the background color is the second one on the bottom row kind of a purpley blue. And we're just going to head over to Pinterest right now to go grab that reference image. So we are in my flower reference photos board. I put a lot of flower references whenever I come across them when I'm on Pinterest. I always put them on this board um, to have ideas for future tutorials or arrangements or different types of flowers. So I refer to this pretty often. I'll leave a link in the video description to this as well. So you gotta scroll down a little bit, but here's the image for it. And I love this image because you can see all the pretty details in the petal all those lines and and we've got a really nice crisp image to work from. When you're ready to save your reference image, just tap on the three little dots up at the top, hit download image, and it will save it to your camera roll. And then we can head back into Procreate and put it in there. In order to put it into our Procreate canvas, just hit the wrench up here, go to the add category, and then hit insert a photo and grab it from your camera roll. I've got my image in here. I'm just going to shrink this down and put it up here, but let's talk about it first. So we can see we've got this beautiful bell shape where the actual flower connects to the stem. And then these petals have these really pretty continuous lines that come all the way down. And the line that goes from the middle of the bottom to the middle of the top is the darkest line. So that is what I'm taking away from here. And the petals are almost leaf shaped. They're these pointed ovals and they go every which way right here. They're kind of scattered around. And then everything else is pretty basic. These leaves, are not super exciting at all, so we're going to make them more exciting. And I'm actually going to just attach an additional flower right here instead of having a bud, just because it'll look prettier for our sticker. So I've got my watercolor illustration brush set here. I'm gonna start by drawing the stem with my round liner brush. So I'm going to grab my lighter green color. There's actually a really dark green right here. Uh, so we're going to start with the light green first. I'm going to create a brand new layer. This one, I'll just label stems. And I'm going to draw this curve. And then where this bud is, I'm just going to draw that connecting stem. All right, I'm going to thicken up the stem a little bit, and then it's going to taper as it gets lower down here. So this is going to be kind of a sketchy style. For the bell, I'm going to switch to my darker green color, and I'm going to grab my heavy paint round brush, and I'm going to paint the bell shape in this darker green color. And I'm going to keep my stylus on the screen. I'm not going to lift up after I draw the outline. That way I get that continuous texture all the way through. I'm going to do the same thing over here for this bell. I'm just going to put some lines here to add a little bit of volume and to also transition it from the stem into the bell. Now that we have our bells, let's start drawing our petals. So I'm going to create a brand new layer, label this one light petals. I'm going to grab the lightest purple color right here, and I'm going to paint the top ones right here. These ones are darker ones. And you can simplify this as much as you want. I'm definitely not going to draw all the petals that are shown there. And then we'll create a brand new layer. We'll call this one medium petals. And by medium, I mean the shade of purple that it is. I probably should have called that medium purple, but you get the idea. 
All right, so now I'm going to draw in some of the darker ones in the middle, just to add a little bit more depth here. And then we're going to do dark petals. Grab the darkest purple, and then just add those few areas in. All right, now we're going to add in the details to our petals. So I can put all of these ones on one layer. So I'm just going to label this one Petal Details. I'm going to keep my darkest purple selected. I'm going to change to my sketching pencil brush and I'm going to change the blend mode of this to multiply. And I'm going to reduce my pencil brush down to 1%. So I'm just going to grab some of these petals and show some extra detail on them. I've got those details drawn in. Now we're going to draw our leaves and on the reference, these leaves are kind of pathetic looking, so we're going to juice them up. So in order to do that, I'm going to switch back to my light green color. I'm going to create a brand new layer right above the stems layer, label this one leaves. I'm going to grab my medium paint round brush and paint in some just long skinny leaves. Once you have those leaves drawn in, we're going to add a little bit of detail to them. So I'm going to return back to my sketching pencil brush. I'll create a brand new layer right above it and label this one leaf details. Grab my dark green color and I'm just going to draw some lines in. We've got our, our flower basically done now. If you want to learn more about painting watercolor flowers in Procreate, I actually have a full course on that, and I'll leave a link on screen and in the video description if you enjoy this process of painting and detailing watercolor florals. So now we're going to make a sticker out of this. So this is the really complex part of this tutorial because there's quite a few steps to keep in mind. Everything is really intentional, but we need to make sure that we stay organized. Uh, let me hide the reference photo because we don't need that anymore. I am now going to group all of my flower elements together. And we'll just label this one cornflowers. All right, I'm going to move these towards the center. And now we're going to make a sticker out of them. So in order to do that, we need to take the shape of this as if it were a silhouette and then make it larger. So the way that I do this is I duplicate this group that has everything on it. So slide it over to the left, hit duplicate. Once you have the duplicated version down here, we're going to flatten this. So tap on the layer thumbnail and choose flatten. Now we're going to select all the contents that are on this layer. So tap on the layer thumbnail and choose select. We're going to create a brand new layer right above it. And we're going to fill it with a dark color. So the dark color that we're going to fill it with is this one right here. So select that one. Come back to this brand new layer. You should still have these lines across the screen to show that we have this selected. And now we're going to fill that selection. So tap on the layer thumbnail and choose fill layer. We no longer need the stems layer. So slide it over to the left, hit delete. Now, if I turn off my cornflower layer, you can see it still has that watercolor effect to it, but now it's a shadow. It's all one color, but we need this to be more opaque than it is. And in order to do that, we're going to select it Come back to the layer, tap on the layer thumbnail, and choose fill. Every time we do this, you can see it's getting denser. And we want it to be nice and dense because this is going to become a sticker, and a sticker is fully opaque. So tap on the layer thumbnail again, hit select, come back to the layer, tap on the layer thumbnail, choose fill layer. So I usually do this like three times, so I'll do it one more time. So now you can see we still have some areas that are a little rough from the just the nature of the watercolor texture and that's totally fine we can adjust that later now we're going to make it even larger so in order to make it larger we're going to come over to our magic wand choose gaussian blur hit layer and now we're going to increase the size quite a bit we're going to come up to like seven and a half percent and now we're going to do the exact same thing we just did so tap on the layer thumbnail select tap on the layer thumbnail fill layer do this like three times Let's do it another time. And now we'll select it, and we're going to grab our brush, and we're going to paint over it. I'm going to come back to the layer thumbnail, choose fill layer, select, fill layer, and now you can see 
We've got these really crisp edges now. They're not attractive at all, but we've got those crisp edges. So let's turn our cornflower back on. And now you can see it's perfectly aligned with our flower, which is exactly what we wanted. I actually made this the wrong color. We need to make this the light blue color. So super easy fix. Tap on the layer, thumbnail, select, grab this light blue color, create a brand new layer right above it, and hit fill layer. All right, now we can delete that other layer. This is the color we want behind this because it looks way prettier like that. All right, so these edges, we need to fix these because that looks terrible. So what I do is I just grab my mono weight brush. I'm gonna reduce the size of it down to like 8%. And I'm just going to follow along the edge and you can see how much softer that makes the edge and cleaner. But now I have a guide to follow along and it's perfectly distanced. Like this outline is the perfect distance all the way around. So it's really consistent, just like a sticker. This is actually called a kiss cut when you've got that extra space around a sticker when it's not die cut directly to the edge. And you would need a kiss cut with something like this because we have a watercolor texture. There's no way that you could cut along that perfectly without a kiss cut. Now we've got that clean outline all the way around and that's looking a lot better. I don't like it when I get a little gap like this where it's visual tension where you've got two pieces that are almost touching but they're not. So I'm just gonna fake this one and fill it in because that can get really distracting. All right, so the next thing we're going to do, this part's totally optional. I like putting just a little bit of a white border around it. That way it really shows that sticker effect since this is a digital sticker. This design is obviously not meant to be printed. This is supposed to look like there's a sticker as a digital element on whatever you wanna place it on. Um, so in order to make that effect really believable, I always think that it helps to have a little bit of a white border because we're going to add a shadow and that contrast between the white and the dark really makes it look like the sticker or this artwork is lifting up off the screen. So we're going to do the exact same thing that we've been doing for this. It's really helpful to repeat these steps. If you do it a bunch of times, you're gonna remember it when you need it later. So we're just going to take this solid shape that's around our flower, select it, create a brand new layer, and we're going to fill it with white. So tap, double tap where the white is and you'll get true white. Tap in the layer, thumbnail, fill layer. We're going to drag it behind the blue layer and we're just going to make this just a tad bit larger. So same steps, apply Gaussian blur. This blur is going to be very subtle. So I'm only, I'm only gonna come up to like, I'll come up to 2% for this and then we don't have to do the outline again because this one's going to be a really subtle one. It's not quite as extreme as we did before. So I can just do the select and then fill three times and then paint over it and that should be enough. So now we've got that white outline around it. Now we can start adding our shadow, which is the really fun part because it's gonna look like it's lifting up off the screen now. And in order to do that, we actually need this white layer because it's the largest one. And we need to make this one a dark color. Tap on the layer thumbnail, hit select, create a brand new layer. This one's going to be filled with this dark gray color right here. Tap on the layer thumbnail, fill layer, drag this underneath the white layer. So now it's behind there. And now we're going to warp it so it looks like it's lifting up. So with that shadow layer selected, select it and down here choose warp. We're going to warp up here. I'm going to drag this node out to the right, this one out to the left. I'm gonna come down here, same thing, out to the right, out to the left. And then the center part, I still want the center to be stuck, but I want it to look like this top part starting to lift up and the bottom part is starting to lift up. So I need no shadow in the middle part because the middle part's still stuck to the paper. So I can grab this inside the square and just pull it in, pull that edge in. I can do the same thing over here. Let's pull it in. All right, if I zoom out, let's take a look. I'm going to pull this one out just a little bit more so it's more obvious down here. Deselect, and now we're going to blur this just a little bit. So tap on your magic wand, Gaussian blur, layer, and we're going to make this 4%. I'm going to change the blend mode to multiply and reduce the opacity down to 
40%. So this next part is optional, but I love the effect that it has because it adds a little bit of thickness to the sticker itself. So what I'm going to do is copy this white layer again. So tap on the layer thumbnail, select, create a brand new layer right underneath it, fill that layer. We're just going to warp this one a very minimal amount, but we're going to go in the same exact direction that we went for the larger shadow. So you just want it poking out just a tad on these areas. And then deselect and that's all there is to that. And now you can see we've got this really dark line. I can reduce the opacity a little bit and change the blend mode to multiply. So opacity is coming down to 70%. You can see it's got way more thickness to it and it really looks more like a sticker now by adding that second shadow. The last thing I'm going to do is add some highlights and shadows because where it's peeling up, it's closer to the light source. If the light is right above it and it's peeling up, it's going to be shinier or brighter on those areas that are lifting up than the part that's still stuck down. In order to apply the shadows and highlights, we need to utilize a clipping mask. And at this moment in time, you cannot apply a clipping mask to a group in Procreate. So we need to flatten our artwork, but I don't wanna lose all the layered artwork that I've already done. So we're going to group all of this together. I don't need to group the shadows, but I need to group everything else that's part of the sticker. So the light blue background and the white outline around it. All of these things need to be grouped together. And now I'm going to duplicate this group, slide it over to the left, hit duplicate. I'm going to turn off this copy. That way I always have my work all layered out if I ever need it, but this one's going to get flattened so I can use a clipping mask. So tap in the layer thumbnail and choose flatten. We're going to create a brand new layer right above it, apply that clipping mask to it. The blend mode of this one is going to be overlay. We're going to be using white and black on this for the lighting. So double tap where the white is. We'll start with the highlights first. We're just going to head into the airbrushing category. Everyone's got this brush. This is one of the default brushes in Procreate. I'm going to grab my soft brush and let's see the size. Let's start with 6%. So wherever the darkest shadow is, that's where you want the brightest light on your sticker. So this top edge right here, you can just paint it softly and you can see that white appearing. Same thing over here. Wherever there's a big shadow, that's where you're going to have a lot of light. And then I need to add some shadow to the middle part because the middle part's still stuck down. So double tap where the black is and I can just do a couple of stripes through the center to darken it up. And now we're going to reduce the opacity. I'm coming down to 20% on this. So if I uncheck it and check it, you can see that shift. And it's subtle, but it makes a big difference. If you wanna label this or add uh, some extra effects, one thing I like doing is applying a paper texture to the background. So if I come over here, create a brand new layer, if I double tap where black is and head back to my watercolor illustration brush set, down here, I'm going to choose the medium deep tooth paper texture. Make sure the size is up at max, zoom out, and then just paint across the background and you'll get a paper texture applied to it. So that can be really nice. And then we can just label it. Up at the top, create a brand new layer, label this one lettering. And you can use editable text here too if you want. Um, I am going to use my round liner brush from this watercolor illustration brush set. I'm going to use this darkest color and I'm going to change my blend mode to overlay. All right, I'm gonna make my label just a little bit darker. So I'm going to duplicate my lettering layer and then bring the opacity down to 50%. So that's how to create a cornflower digital sticker directly in Procreate. Once again, links to everything mentioned in this tutorial, including the free color palette, the watercolor illustration brush set, my watercolor florals and Procreate online course, and a link to my Pinterest board are all in the video description. So just tap in there and you can have access to everything. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you can be notified of new tutorials just like this one in the future. For more Procreate tutorials and freebies, head on over to my site, every-tuesday.com. You can also find me over on Instagram. My handle is every Tuesday. If you try this out and post it there, I would love it if you tag me. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next week.